My name's Anthony Vonke. I'm the director of Unmasking Jihadi John, Anatomy of a Terrorist. My name is Richard Gaberge. I'm the writer and producer. They sat down and then they started saying, we've been watching you closely. And I said to him, I must be special if you've been watching me closely. It's a film about the transformation of a young man called Mohammed Mwazi. He went on to become the notorious ISIS executioner, Jihadi John. It's both a cautionary story about what would happen in the event that there is another Jihadi John, but it's also an instructive story about some of the things that we need to potentially be changing as Western nations when it comes to intervening in foreign wars. What we wanted to really do is sort of tell a story through this terrorist about the kind of formation and collapse of ISIS. We wanted to peel away this glamorous image that he created for himself. And so we wanted to do that through our contributors. So we had former intelligence officials, former military officials, counter-terrorism officials, who were able to sort of unpick the rise of this former schoolboy from London, who went on to become the poster boy for ISIS. We then obviously had a race to find out who he was. The thing that was really exceptional was that there's actual video footage of Mwazi when he was a kid, and that's quite breathtaking. He often walked around covering his mouth, and some young boys would tease him about his breath. The other thing that was quite interesting is that he was enthralled by computers, and he got a degree in IT. And it's one of the things the security services found very difficult in eventually tracing him, was that he knew how to hide technologically. I think initially, when I set out to make the film, it was about the hunt. It was about seeing the story through a new perspective, and particularly through that sort of intelligence and counterterrorism lens. And one of the reasons is because those people don't usually talk about their operations. We start to realize we think we know exactly where he is. So have a drone take a look at that spot. We had such brilliant contributors making such extraordinary revelations that it was actually difficult to fit into one film. Whether we contributed to his further radicalization is a, an interesting question. What we discovered is how powerful the voices of hostages were and the families of the hostages. They just abducted us in the street. And because we were making a film which doesn't have a you know, narrator threading the narrative together, you know, we were very much relied on their voices. And ultimately, you sort of walk away with a sense of hope because the focus then shifts away from it being a story about a terrorist to a story about those who are doing good in the world. The international angle here is that radicalization is not a domestic issue, it's an international issue. I think as well the sophistication that ISIS had in their propaganda machine and the fact that they could tailor certain videos for specific parts of the world so that you would have tailor-made bespoke videos for America, for Australia, for Southeast Asia, for Europe, and that they would deliberately target individuals and know what they could do to seduce these people to come out to this part of the world. And that in itself it makes it international and global. The terrorist is like the fly in the china shop. Now, he can't destroy the china shop on his own. The fly isn't nearly strong enough. But if he gets inside the ear of a bull, then the bull if it panics, we'll destroy uh, the China shop. We are the bull, they are the fly. That's why it's important not to panic. This one person embodied and encapsulated everything that is evil and demonic and disgusting about ISIS. This is James Wright Foley, an American citizen of your country. The first execution of James Foley, this film is about understanding that picture it's become iconic. It's become something that the world has seen. It redefined uh, a period of history. It was an expression of an Islamic terrorist group that the world had never seen. And by that single image, our film explores that, proposes to find out what happened, why, who were the individuals, and what's the context behind all of it. 
if there was one thing that contributed to the rise of his fame was the international news media called him Jihadi John.